An API is used to use software that is hosted on a server somewhere else to be used in our application. What we are doing today is to call a weather API from our Flutter application and get the weather data of a place and display it. In this video we can learn four things. First, what is API? Let's learn a short description about the API. Second, how to call a web API. Let's learn how to make a weather API call. We'll do another video later on how to create API. Then, JSON parsing. Here API returns a JSON value and we can learn how to parse it and get the data. At last, display data. Let's learn how to display the parsed data. These are what we learn. What is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. APIs are mechanisms that enable two software components to communicate with each other using a set of definitions and protocols. Application In the context of APIs, the word application refers to any software with a distinct function. Interface Interface can be thought of as a contract of service between two applications. This is an API which we can use without registering. The link can be given in the description. Here we can give the latitude and longitude of a location. It returns the current weather of the given location. The latitude and longitude of New York is now given. The coordinates are seen first. We will get all the details like weather ID, weather description, wind, country, city etc. We can use another website to get latitude and longitude. The site link can be given in the description. Now we can type latitude and longitude. Then we can use the current device location which we did in the previous video. Now let's pass the latitude and longitude of London. Whether details of that place are available. Now let's learn how to use this in our Flutter application. For that you have to install HTTP plugin. Copy the dependency and paste it in the pubspec.yaml file. Now import the HTTP Dart package. This API is what we need to call. Let's learn how to do this. Let's write a function. Get data. We call the API using the get function. Need to parse. URI.parse. Pass the API link. The latitude and longitude of New York is given. The return value can be assigned to a response type variable. Response response variable. The await keyword is required. For that function should be made async. Await. Let's print the obtained output. Print response. Function can be called inside the init state. Get data. Instance of response is printed. You have to give response.body to see data. Received current weather data. This is JSON format. City New York. Weather description, scattered clouds. Status code 200. It is HTTP status. We check it using the response.status code. Print it. If we make a change in the URL, you will see the status code change. It is 401. 200 is success. 
Now let's make it clear. HTTP package imported can be given as as HTTP. It is to avoid confusion. It can be called HTTP.response. Then HTTP.get. Now we can check response status using the if condition. Response.status code double equals 200. JSON data can be assigned to a string variable. String data. Response.body. Now we can format this JSON data. Copy this data. Open any website that does the format. Paste it into it. Each can be seen separately. Coordinate. Weather. Wind. We can see data as key and value. Coordinate. You can see longitude and latitude in it. Import Dart Convert to parse the data. JSON decode function is used for that. The data variable is the source here. Here we can learn how to get the longitude value. First key in square bracket. Cord. Then lawn for longitude. Print and C. Displayed. Then city name. Just give name directly. City name displayed. New York. Country sys country. Okay. U.S. JSON decode function can be assigned in a variable. var decode weather. JSON decode data. Here everything can be changed to function and called variable decode weather. Okay. All working. All values can be assigned to variables. Let's see how to get weather description. Here weather is given as another list. So first list index should be given as zero. After that the description should be given. Now let's print the description. Okay clear sky. After commenting on all this, let's see how to display all the data obtained. Create a new Dart file. Name display weather. 
create a stateful widget. Display weather. Import material Dart. Import the created file inside the main Dart file. Display weather. The decoded weather data should pass to the new page. Create a constructor for that. Let's create a dynamic variable to pass. Weather location. Create a constructor. This dot weather location. Load a new page using the navigator push method. Navigator dot push. Context. Material page root. Builder context. Return our new page, display weather. Weather location can change to a named parameter. Weather location. The decoded weather variable should pass. Transferred to a new page. Display temperature, description and city name. Let's give scaffold and try to display data inside it. Let's give those variables to three text widgets. Give a style to make the font look bigger. Degree Celsius can be given for temperature. Create a function and set all the values inside that. Void set data. Pass the weather data. Dynamic type. Weather data. Create init state and call function on it. Set data. Pass the widget.weather location variable. Now we can assign value. Set state. Temperature weather data. Main temp. Give other values like that. Run the app. New York weather data is displayed. Now we have passed the latitude and longitude. As we did in the last video, after finding the current location, we can get the current weather details using its latitude and longitude. The latitude obtained should be passed here. Longitude here. If the API is registered and used, its key can be added here and passed. Create two variables and assign values. The latitude variable can be given here. And so is longitude. Get the current location here. Install geolocator package. It was learned in the previous video. Dependency is added here.
Import the package. This is the code to get the current position. Copy and paste. Android and iOS require location permission to do so. Latitude equals position dot latitude. Longitude equals position dot longitude. Run the app. The location is incorrect. Here need longitude. This is the correct location. This is the location from the emulator settings. Thank you for watching.